All right, another story we wanted to talk to you about tonight. Pope Francis, he's in Brazil tonight. This was a big trip, his first overseas trip. He's the first pope from South America. He's going back home to South America. Landed in Rio de Janeiro for the start of the church's World Youth Day. This trip had already been planned, but it wound up being his now with Benedict uh, stepped aside, obviously. Joining me now, CNN international correspondent. Uh, well, I call you that, but really you're not, right? Father Edward Beck, you're really not a correspondent. You're really a, a priest and an expert now, aren't you? That's right, of course. Now, we're, we're looking at video of this, Father. Yeah. It's great to have you, as always. Um, it got very intense very quickly. Sure, it was adoring, but you've been saying all along that Pope Francis wants to bring down the walls, right? He wants to engage with people, and you saw what happened out there today, right? Yes, I did. But look, if this is a man who wants to be a man of the people, a man of the poor, he cannot live this rarefied separate existence. Since he was elected, he has tried to break down those barriers. He did not move into the Apostolic Palace. He is not driving in the papal limousine. He is saying Mass at St. Martha's every morning with the common folk. So how does he now go to Brazil and get in an armored vehicle where he can't touch anybody, they can't touch him? It goes against the image, the paradigm shift this man is trying to make. But he's down there in like a Hyundai in the back of this little hatchback and there was only one lane. People were mobbing him, able to just about reach inside. There was word of a homemade explosive that they had to discharge. Right. I mean, even though I get the intentions, they're beautiful and arguably saintly. Right. But should he be in charge of security when it only takes one bad person? Well, first of all, he's not in charge of his security. He makes some requests and they try to... Well, they seem to be listening. I mean, look at the picture. They're attacking, I don't know what it is, uh, whatever the car is. Look how small it is and look at all the people reaching in to the Pope. I agree with you, but I think that's a better picture than having him removed from everybody. Granted, you could say that's dangerous, and it is, and you have to use prudence. But this is a man who wants to be able to touch people and have people touch him. This is who he is. He's, not, he's willing to take those risks right now, and I think that we'll see what happens, but I think it's a good idea for him to do so. Thank you very much. I know that the challenge for the Pope down there is to reinvigorate this population. He's going home in a way, but Brazil, the largest Catholic population in the world. Thank you very much for being here with us, Father Beck. I wish I had more time. Me too. Probably some kind of sin. You can take care of that with me afterwards, but it's better to thank you. I feel much better now. <laughs> thank you to Father Edward Beck and everybody who helped us covering the Royals uh, and the George Zimmerman story tonight. And thank you for being with me here on Piers Morgan Live. We're going to be right back after this.